Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Andy Sterkowitz, and in this video, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is the number one thing to learn to become a self-taught programmer. I've helped a lot of people on this channel and in my mentorship program to make that transition from some job that has nothing to do with programming to being a programmer. And so I've seen a lot of people go through this process, make a lot of mistakes, and this one thing that I'm gonna tell you about today is the one thing that if you get right, if you figure out you're going to flourish, but if you never quite understand it, you're always going to struggle. And this is again from something I've seen. This is not just speculation or some tip I'm just trying to make out of thin air. This is from something I see time and time again. This is the thing that holds most people back. So I'm definitely gonna cover that in this video. Now, before I get into that, if you don't know who I am, like I said, I'm Andy Sterkowitz. I mentor and coach people to get into a career as a programmer. So I cover videos on this channel about how to teach yourself, how to program, how to code, and obviously how to land that first job. So I highly recommend hitting the subscribe button below. Also make sure to hit the bell icons to get notifications anytime I put out a new video. So to start off with here, I think the biggest misconception where most people who are getting into programming is that the understanding or the, their knowledge of the syntax and the rules of a programming language or the features of a programming language is the thing that's gonna get them their first job. Right, and the question that I see the most often here that really shows that this is the case is somebody will ask me something like, say they're learning JavaScript, they'll ask me something along the lines of, what exactly do I have to know in JavaScript? What, what features, what uh, methods, what do I know or what do I need to know in JavaScript to get me my first job? And this represents a basic or fundamental dis misunderstanding about what it takes to land that first job as a programmer. Do you have to know the syntax of a programming language? Do you need to know certain features of a programming language? Absolutely, 100% yes. But what you're gonna be hired to do is not to be some sort of encyclopedia of knowledge about JavaScript or Python or Java. What you have to do is take your knowledge of the tool, because that's what a programming language is, is a tool of how to actually produce a desired outcome. And the desired outcome in most cases, you have to be able to build an application from scratch, you have to be able to add to an existing application that already exists. You have to be able to resolve bugs or find bugs, fix issues. But those things are not gonna happen from your knowledge of a programming language. The key here is, is understanding how to use logic to write computer code to produce a desired outcome. The classic example of this is, say I want you, I'm gonna pay you lots of money to create a to-do application in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Well, if you're gonna be able to do that, you could know everything about HTML, everything about CSS, and everything about JavaScript. That has no bearing on whether you know how to put everything together to produce the outcome that I'm looking for, which is I want to be able to log into an application, I want to be able to add to-dos, I want to be able to remove to-dos, I want them to be saved into a database. A knowledge of a programming language doesn't guarantee that you're gonna be able to do that. So you have to understand how to use logic to write code for a machine, for a computer, so that produces an expected outcome. So what I'm really talking about here is understanding how to use the programming language to write rules for your computer to follow so that produces a desired outcome, which is called logic, right? It's using logic or being able to write computer logic. Now, this idea of logic has a couple different definitions. I actually learned about this. I thought logic was one thing, but apparently, actually, there are many different definitions of what logic is. There's mathematical logic. There's like the, the logic that is used in philosophy. What I'm simply talking about is this, this abstract idea of how to write rules for a computer so that it provides a expected outcome or result. So what is logic? Like, How would I describe it? The way I would describe it is this. Let's say you're walking down your street in your neighborhood that you know very, very well. Let's say a stranger comes up to you, somebody you've never seen before, and asks you how to get to the local Chipotle, right? You know exactly where this place is, so it instantly comes to your mind. And what do you tell them? You're like, let's say you said, you know what, it's on 8th and Main Street. Well, once you tell them that, you would expect for them to say, oh, thank you so much, and that they will be on their way. But instead, what they say is, uh, you know, I'm actually not from here, can you tell me how to get there? At that moment, you have to go into your brain and you have to produce a map in your head of how to get there, right? You have to sort of see in your mind about how to actually navigate to get there. So to explain to this other human being how to do that, you're gonna say something like, okay, first what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down south on the current street we're on. Once you reach the end of the street, then you're gonna take a left. And once you take a left, wait until you find 8th Street. And once you do find 8th Street, then you're gonna take a right until you get to Main Street and then it'll be 8th and Main. Just look to your left, you'll see the Chipotle on the corner. 
Now that person can go and take those directions, that recipe for how to get to where they wanna to go to the Chipotle, and they can now walk and follow those directions. If they follow those directions, they'll get there. This process that you went through may have taken milliseconds to come up with. Maybe you just instantly figured it out. That process is actually pretty extraordinary. It seems unextraordinary, it seems very banal, right? But the fact that you're able to describe to another human being how to do this, you use the English language in this case to communicate to them, it's a pretty big deal. Now, how this relates to programming, well, essentially, you have to understand that when you're programming, you're doing the same exact thing. You're gonna give a computer a list or a set of things to follow, a set of rules, a set of instructions to follow, and it will follow them. Now, the thing you have to understand about computers, if you haven't already, maybe you are already a programmer, you're already pretty well versed into this, is that computers are actually pretty dumb. Computers will do whatever you tell it to do within reason, unless a bug happens or sorry, unless an error occurs or you actually cause the, the system to crash or the app to crash, the computer will do whatever you tell it to do. So this is where things get really hard in programming. This is where most people don't understand how to get to that next level. You have to have a lot of practice in understanding. First, you have to really understand the semantics and the syntax of a programming language. Then you have to have enough experience of building small applications and more complex applications to understand how to produce the logic for a computer program about how to do what it needs to do. So logic is the thing that you wanna focus on. You wanna understand how to give a computer instructions about how to work. From my experience, most new developers, most people who are trying to get in this field, they overlook this, right? In other words, when they run into a problem with an app they're building, say they've maybe they're building some sort of game, when the game isn't doing what they want it to do, instead of going to and focusing on the logic and stepping through each line of code to make sure that their logic is sound, or even pseudocoding so that they know their logic is sound, they'll focus on, oh, maybe there's some feature in this programming language I don't know. Maybe I have to go watch a tutorial. So they end up focusing on thinking that they don't have enough knowledge when in most cases they know enough they just are not focusing on the right thing. So focus on logic as much as possible. Now, you may ask yourself, how do I get better at logic? Or how do I get better at writing rules for a computer to follow? I've said it a million times on my channel and I'll, it's worth repeating again because it's that important. The way that you get better or the way that you get better at understanding how a computer can understand lines of code or how a computer can run an application that you give the rules to run is to create applications, right? So when you start out, when you're at the very beginning, you're not gonna know much. So you're gonna have to start out with simple stuff. Give yourself small projects, give yourself projects that are so insanely simple that it takes you maybe a day or a couple days to do it, or maybe even a couple weeks. As you proceed, you'll begin to understand the programming language better, so you'll get a better sense for the syntax, because syntax is important, you have to understand that. But over time, you'll also begin to see how the rules that you're writing for the programming language or for the computer to run have an effect on the desired result that you're looking for. Eventually, you should get into more complex applications, applications that actually solve a real world problem, maybe a small one, maybe it could be something like getting the current weather based on zip code, but that will require logic. That will require for you to have a good understanding of how the logic of the program that you're trying to run is supposed to work. So focus on building projects, focus on experience, on consistency over time, and that's the thing that's really gonna get you to that next step. So I hope this video has been helpful. It is really one of the hardest things to learn as a programmer. You wanna focus on concepts, knowledge, and those are great. You have to learn all those things. You have to eventually get to the point where you're able to take the next step into more advanced concepts. But the thing that most people get stuck on, the thing that holds them back is understanding logic about the, the what I call the recipe or the instructions for your computer. So if you enjoyed this video, as always, I would appreciate a like. By the way, guys, if you wanna get more content from me, if you wanna get more than I actually put on this YouTube channel, I highly recommend joining my free Facebook group. On that Facebook group, I try to put a lot of high quality content on there. I try to nuke any spammers that come in. So if you're interested in that, I will leave a link in the description below that you can join. And uh, yeah, that's about all I have for today. So thank you as always for watching and peace out.